So for today, we're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse. So I added a new vendor because someone asked in the comments. And honestly, I could not refute it because I was like, it makes sense. New player would definitely want to see what Banshee is selling. So right after 801, we're going to go to Banshee and then Zer and then Eververse in that order. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I should probably mention that Zer will also, I will also be showing you Zer's armor, all of it. I'm not going to go through each of the classes, but I will show you a spreadsheet of all of it. Thank you, Light GG. But other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, New Age Black Armor is what we're going to be looking at first. And I love this shader. This is like one of my favorite shaders in the game. Also, uh, spoiler alert, because this is actually an armor set that I made for the Halloween set, specifically the Mecha stuff. So you guys are looking at it early. It's fine because I don't use this helmet or the shader, so it's fine. But yeah, I love New Age Black Armory. It's such a good shader. I definitely would recommend it. We have Arctic Dreamscape. This is a dope shader from Warmind. It's not even a season. It's from the DLC Warmind. I definitely would recommend this if you're going for a tactical snow soldier, just because you see the the like print right here is super cool, very digital and then the white. So I definitely would recommend this one for that. And a new Monarchy Allegiance. This is a terrible shader. I would not recommend this one. It's just kind of gross looking in my opinion. It's the orange, honestly. If the orange was like some other color, then maybe it would have been good, but it's just, it's from season three. This is from Warmind. Uh, so it just, it was, it was one of those times where all the shaders for the factions were fucking weird. As for the armor, it's going to be the scorned pieces for the Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks. And then for the helmets, it's going to be the really, really terrible helmets for the Warlock and Hunter. And the Titans have a really cool Panther helmet. I will show you the scorned pieces, not like, you know, fuck it. We'll just show it real quick just because I know some people are going to want to get it if they're like, it looks cool. Hunters, I think yours is pretty cool. We just don't have scorned pieces as for exotic ornaments. So that's like the, mm, I don't think we do at least. If we do, let me know in the comments below, but I don't think we have any. Oh, you can definitely combine it with Shards of Galanor because that one will look good with it, but the other pieces will be hard to put together. Titans, on the other hand, you guys have really good pieces for Scorn sets. So you guys get another chess piece. Everyone got chess pieces for the Scorn set, but Titans, you guys have two exotics that have Scorned ornaments, which is really, really cool. And... Yeah, you guys have like just really good pieces for that. So if you want to do a scorned look, your Titan's going to be the best thing. And then Warlocks. Oh, wait, hold on. The I should probably show you the helmet. Here's the helmet. Tor Bottle Celebration Mask. Warlocks, you guys have the best chess piece in my opinion. This is amazing. Scorn Baron Robes is easily one of my favorite chess pieces for the Warlocks. This is such an amazing chess piece. This is one of my favorite chess pieces that the Warlocks got just because it goes so hard with so many pieces. I've made multiple sets with this and I've made some dope looking sets with this. So definitely pick this up. This is like the one I would recommend you guys to pick up, but I would actually just recommend you guys just to pick up all of it. Um, yeah, I definitely would recommend just these two pieces. The class items are whatever, to be quite honest. Um, the memory of Cade, if you miss Cade and like these, I definitely would recommend the Titan one though. As for Banshee, he is selling Whispering Slab with Hip Fire Grip and Unrelenting, Shattered, Shattered Cypher with Auto Loading Holster and Unrelenting, Conting Contingency Plan with Outlaw and Elemental Capacitor, Death Adder with Hip Fire Grip and Dis Disruption Break, Galu RR3 with Ensemble and Snapshot Sights, and Ragnahild with Ragnahild D with Perpetual Motion and Elemental Capacitor. This one, this one might actually be pretty decent. Um, just because wood has assault mag, uh, just because perpetual motion is going to make you a lot faster when you're holding the weapon. If I remember correctly, this weapon gains bonus stability, handling reload speed while wielder is in motion. I thought it made you fast. It don't matter. It's still good. Either way, <clears throat> um, elemental capacitor will be really good. You can increase your handling, which is really good because considering this is an aggressive frame. Um, and that's pretty. Ugh, Increase airborne effectiveness would be nice as well. I just think the handling would be way better. So I definitely would recommend that one. It's also a red border weapon. So if you are interested, you can definitely pick that up. Lodbrock C demo and adrenaline junkie. I would recommend this one for sure, just because demo and adrenaline junkie is going to be really nice because you're going to be using your grenade a lot because of demo. Not only that, because you're throwing your grenade, you're going to be reloading less because it automatically reloads your weapon. And because you're getting kills with grenades and this weapon, you're going to like almost perpetually have adrenaline junkie on all the time. So 
it's definitely cool. It's going to be an ad control monster, but it's one of those like, do you want to have a slow impact frame as your weapon of choice for for uh, ad control? It's up to you, really. Um, also, hold on. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't matter. We have contingency plan, tunnel vision and frenzy. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of frenzy personally. And with a scout rifle, you're going to proc frenzy like so rarely, unless it's just whenever you're shooting and in combat. But for me, frenzy just never procs when I want it to proc. Combine action with Zen moment and time payload. Man, unfortunately, if it was if it wasn't Zen moment and anything, anything else, I would recommend this just because time payload is really nasty. I really like combined action. Um, just because I had a really nasty game with it. And for me, if I have a nasty game with a weapon, I just immediately already have it like in my mind where it's like, I have it in my back pocket now. So mine's really nasty. Mine has kill clip, but I definitely would try the time payload one. Uh, memory interdict, interdict, clan cartridge and wellspring, and then polymera, polymera B ensemble and explosive light. So that's pretty much it for Banshee. I. This is the first time I've ever reviewed him, but I definitely would recommend this, the ones that I recommended. Like these two right here are really good. Uh, combined action is really good as well. <clears throat> if you see a weapon that you were like interested in, definitely pick it up. It's just if I didn't go through it, that means I wasn't really interested in it. So that's why like for these two that I really did go into and then this one as well. So that that should explain what my thought process is, because with Banshee, I will never like go in depth with all of them because I'm honestly really picky with the perks that I choose. So that's why I don't like I only went through three weapons. As for Zur, he's in the hangar in the tower currently selling the Season of Opulence armor. Bro, I I like this armor quite a bit. Unfortunately, it does, it does have purple stones that don't change color. But if you lean into it, it can actually be really, really cool. Um, there are a few pieces that I'm actually personally a big fan of. Um, while you guys are looking at the armor, let me actually go look at the armor myself because I don't have it in front of me. It should be in season. So for the hunters, I think the helmet is pretty dope. I think the arms are pretty boring. Chess piece is interesting, but we have better, a better chess piece that looks exactly the same, almost exactly the same. I should say boots are kind of weird. Boots are pretty dope. And then the cloak, unfortunately we do have another cloak that looks like this, but I still prefer this one over the other one, even though there is a gem that doesn't change color for that one. Titans, I definitely think the helmet is okay. Arms are okay. Chest piece is okay. Boots are probably the best piece from it. And then the mark is definitely the best piece from it because it's definitely that old school vibe of like D1 marks. So I would actually recommend the mark. Warlocks, the helmet I think is really cool. Uh, arms are kind of boring. Chest piece is funnily enough. That's an iron banner chest piece because you guys can see the like the trees on the front of it. So if you want a new another iron banner chest piece, definitely pick that up. Technically, it's opulence armor, but for me, I can't unsee the tree. So for me, that's iron banner armor, even though technically it wouldn't count towards iron banner like during iron banner, but it it's iron banner. armor. I don't know what to tell you. Um, Boots are kind of boring and then the bond's kind of boring. So I definitely would recommend uh, some of the pieces here, the ones that I did recommend. But here is the armor sets. If you guys are wondering what is really good, I'm not going to say which one is good and which one's bad, because personally, unless it has really, really good stats, I don't really care considering most of the time I'm going to be trying to get dungeon armor because that's the armor that you really should be going for, because that's the end game armor. But for the weapons, we're going to be looking at fire fright. Fragile Focus and Focus Fury. That's not a bad combo, actually. Um, Because Fragile Focus, this weapon gains bonus range until your shield is destroyed. The bonus re returns once your shield has regenerated to full strength. And then Focus Fury, dealing half the damage as precision damage grants bo weapon bonus damage. The shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded or stowed. So this is actually, this would actually be pretty gross with Titans specifically because they have that chest piece that keeps reloading auto rifles and LMGs. So this would actually be really nasty. My only thing is like, you could probably use this against champions and like get orange bars. That's the best it'll do. Cause like boss damage, it's not going to be good. Like you're going to want to use something else. But if you had just had this, I think it would be fine. Disparity with heating up in one for all, not bad. I definitely would recommend it just because disparity is a good pulse rifle. But I would recommend it as a red border because th these two are red borders. So definitely do that. 
Uh, Seventh Seraph SI2. I love this weapon. Unfortunately, Field Prep and Dragonfly is not what I love on it. Uh, Sojourner's Tail, Threat Detector, and Killing Wind. That's not bad. Um, Killing Wind's going to increase your range. Yeah, Final Bulls grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. That's pretty nice. And then Threat Detector increases reload, stability, and handling when enemies are in close, close proximity. Man, if it had the 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 rapid fire one, it would be it would have been nasty. I still think this is a good one. I definitely think you should get it. If that if it had a range masterwork, it would have been even more nasty. Um, we have Outlast with Outlaw and Snapshot Sights. I don't know if I'd recommend this one. I I do like Snapshot Snapshot Sights, but I mean you can get this weapon now. So if you're interested to get a better roll, you can definitely go to the. Uh, to the helm and try to farm for one. Seven Seraph S or Seven Seraph Saw Field Prep. I'm gonna ignore that. I already hate that. And then bump in the night with demo and frenzy. This is a red border weapon as well. So if you want to get a better roll, definitely try to get the red border stuff for it. For the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with quick draw. Pretty nice. And then the prospector with there is no with. This is just the prospector. Uh young Ahamkara Spine. Too bad it got nerfed. Peacekeepers. Oh my god. The fact that he's selling this now. This uh man. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely would recommend it. 28 recovery is just nasty. I would most likely bump up. I would probably bump up recovery to another plus 10. So that way it could just be a 40, honestly. And then Winter's Guile with Jesus. Oh wow. Um, I would probably do the same with this one. Just bump up the, re the resilience. Uh, so that way it's a 40 once master worked. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my God. So I definitely would recommend the peacekeepers and the winter's guile. Ahamkara spine, probably just because the recovery is really nice. The strength is really nice and discipline. Once you bump it up to, to a plus 10. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. Especially once you master work it, you'll have a 20. What is it? 20. Yeah. 20, 24, 20. So that's pretty nice. I didn't want to do that, <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I definitely think there's some pieces that you, should, you definitely should pick up. As for Eververse, I actually don't remember what Eververse is selling this week. So we have reanimated Verve. This is basically a zombie one. I, I will always tell you to pick up shaders just because you might never know when they're really, really good. Um, Angels Gleam, which what even is this? I still picked it up just because you might never know, but it, it looks terrible. We have reanimated entrance. Yep. Um, the mystery van from Scooby Doo. At least that's what it reminds me of. We have lunar roar, which is. Yep. I don't like this effect. That effect kind of sucks, but yeah. And then we have Promethean Prelude, which is the new ornament for this season, or I should say this event which I'm not the biggest fan of. We have Stygian Steed. I know people are going to definitely going to be picking up this just because uh, it does look cool, but I don't really care for it. Extraterrestrial vehicle. I know one of my clan mates was wanting to pick this up. Um, don't really care for it. Spinneret shell, which is a spider one, which looks funny. We have no escape. <clears throat> We have Gourd Summoner, which is just pumpkins. And then for the other transmit effects, it's going to be Batwing Entrance. We already looked at Reanimated Entrance and Arachnophile, which is just a bag of or spiders. For the shaders, Nougat Delight, I definitely recommend Nougat Delight. This is one of my favorite shaders currently just because the green is really cool, but also that like off white, like cream almost color is so dope and it's like very shiny. So that's why I really like it as well. Uh, Chrome stock, which looks OK, actually looks pretty cool, like actually decent. If you combine it with armor pieces, I do. I definitely think it looks way better than it should. Um, This fucking purple shader that I'm not the biggest fan of. Honestly, it's the purple. Um, and when you, I know it's like, what purple you're talking about. It's this right here. It's this like really nasty brown magenta color. Like this, it's so gross. I hate that color, but I also think the light purple just doesn't fit with the darkness of everything else. So 
If it was a little darker, I think this shader would be really cool. And then bait basalt toxic, which I'm just not the biggest fan of these. Honestly, honestly, if the green, if this like green color was different, I think this shader would have been such a banger. Um, I think, yeah, it's just that it's the green that just doesn't, I don't really like. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Like I said, we are going to be doing a uh, Banshee probably. I want to say starting the week, we'll probably look at Banshee as well, maybe, or we'll just leave them for the last one for this one, the last call video, because I do, th I, I should start doing more vendors, but at the same time, this really just started off as like fashion oriented, like, oh, I'm just doing it because a lot of the vendors that I was going through was fashion related. Zer has armor that usually comes back that most people don't have, and Ada just has armor and shaders. So for me, I never thought of making other vendors like Banshee because again, this is more more strictly a fashion channel, but this would be a good way to just really start branching out to other stuff because as much as I love fashion, it's so niche that it's it's I think it's like bottling like bottlenecking my channel. So I definitely do want to start doing other content again. As much as I love fashion and I would like to just stay as a fashion content creator, um I would much what I would much rather be a Destiny 2 content creator for this channel um until I just start branching out with third two other games. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.